Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On to day 11 of our journey across China's highways. This has got to be the best hotel we've stayed in than the entire trip. Absolutely full scores on breakfast, just for one single fact that they actually had real bacon. I'm over the moon, I couldn't be happier. The real bacon is not an easy thing to find, especially when it's on the breakfast buffet menu. They love to use the synthetic stuff, the factory made. Calling it bacon is a crime. Would definitely recommend anyone to stay here. The place is great, rooms are beautiful, service is spectacular, and they do speak English as well. And of course, great breakfast. And we are going to get back into the car now. We are on our way to Xi'an, my little hometown of 13 plus million people. Today we're meeting someone very, very special. We're meeting the artist, the famous Fan Wei. We're gonna be having an interview with him and maybe have a small jamming session. It's gonna be good. After Xi'an! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're very, very close to Xi'an now. We're about 14 kilometers outside the city. And we're still climbing through the Qingling Mountains. It's just a beautiful mountain range. I've done a few hiking videos on them. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. Links in the description. Beautiful landscape, especially now in springtime coming into summer. It's just green everywhere and different shades. It's refreshing. The skies are clear. Love the Qingling Mountains. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally arrived in glorious Xi'an. 2,300 kilometers we traveled in the car to get to this point, to the start of the ancient Silk Road, my hometown. But the jersey doesn't stop here. For the next three days, we're gonna be showing you all the musty places in Xi'an that whenever you come here, you have to visit. For those of you that don't know anything about Xi'an, let me fill you in. Xi'an has a very long and very rich history. It's been here for over 3,000 years and 1,100 of those years, it served as the capital of ancient China, coming to its height during the Han and Tang dynasties. This iconic city was the starting point of the ancient Silk Road, and is now spearheading the movement for the new China Belt and Road Initiative. As with most ancient places, every city has a story, and Xi'an's story was told none other by than Fan Wei. Fan Wei is a very famous artist in China, and he wrote the song Xi'an Rendega, Xi'an's people's song. And that is our first stop here in Xi'an. We're gonna be meeting with this artist and we're gonna be talking to him why he wrote the song and what inspired him about it. Oh, no. Go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, go. <laughs> You're feeling tired along the way? No, not at all. Cool. So many good things to see. Exactly. Alright, we're here at the studio with them. Let's go check it out. So this is one of the booths. This is where they record their songs. Man, the amount of tech that these guys have is insane. Look at the absolute massive size of these doors. And there's two of them. This is for absolute perfect sound dampening. Very, very cool. Of course, if you want to watch the full interview, you gotta go check out the link in the bottom of the description.
<laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, we just finished our uh, interview with Funway. Got to sing some songs with him. I got his lyrics with his signature on it. So, so happy. And now, now the highlight of my day, I get to see my wife. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Shisha.